Well, let's see. We've been in uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky, Tennessee. And now it's, uh, oh, it's only 133 miles to Little Rock. We started out in... Nearly every summer of my childhood was spent in a van on the road with my family, the walkers. Are we having any fun at all? My memory will forever be ingrained with the smell of that 1984 Ford club wagon and hot asphalt. That liberating feeling of hanging your head out the window while coaxing truck drivers to honk their horn. The sound of Beach Boys playing in the background, sometimes barely audible over the fighting siblings. And stopping at nearly every landmark, scenic overlook, or picture where they taking place, just so that my parents could document, document, document. I remember everyone falling asleep in the van, except for me, and watching my dad's eyes through his rearview mirror. That look of reverence for the moment he knew was passing with every mile he would drive. I'm now a wife and mother of two, and any free moment we have, we spend traveling. My parents have instilled within me something that I can't ignore. It's that desire to see new places and try new things with the people I love. <laughs> there was a sense of romanticism about the open road. The sights, the smells, that excitement of not knowing where you were going or how long it was going to take you to get there. Or how when you'd walk into that motel, regardless of the cleanliness, it always felt fancy. Those days were never rushed. They were savored. We have created Walker Family Goods in hopes of taking us all back to that nostalgic time where we could travel and make memories with as much simplicity as possible. Before I had finished elementary school, my family and I had successfully road tripped to 49 states, with a flight to Hawaii in there too. Traveling was simple. My parents made it simple. As far as functionality of traveling with six kids, my parents put us each in charge of our own personal duffel bag. We had our own color and we knew the routine a few outfits, some undies, and a toothbrush. Our bags forced us to pack light. When we ran out of those clean clothes, we'd find a laundromat, kill some time, and then hit the road again. To pay homage to those memories and those many summers of hitting pavement with my family, we've dubbed this the state's duffel bag. There are plenty of how-tos in this world. You don't need an instruction manual for traveling with kids. Keep it simple. The duffel bag was a necessity to our lifestyle as the Walker family growing up, and the state's bag will be a necessity to yours. My parents have always told me, don't fix what's not broke. Well, Mom and Dad, I'm not. I'm just making it better.